The most tragic thing happened this morning, Paul Throughout. <laughs> the rabbits have babies. What are we talking No, about? that would that would be apocalyptic. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> there are some standards about baby murdering, even if they are of rabbits. Probably. Yes, it's an international standard. But go on. So I drop my kid off at school, come home, and like when you come in through the garage door, there's a flight of steps <laughs> that lead down yeah. into the basement that, as you may remember, I'm finished. So I was trying my best to get to the office, and I accidentally fell down the steps, rolled over to the couch, and played Black Ops for an hour. It's real tragic. Oh, geez, I thought you going to say you hurt yourself. Um, how was it, Brad? You know what? The most important thing every time I start one of these games, which is not important at all, but it is to my simple brain, is that I have to go KD positive the first time I play. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got it. If I start this, if I load this game up, and the first thing that happens is I die, then it's yep, going to be right. a bad year. It's like the a groundhog for, for right. 40-year-old men. <clears throat> By the way, it's been a while, but I, I once spent several months digging myself out of that hole like yeah. you go down this thing where you like point i don't even remember anymore it might have been even as low as 0. 0.6 or something but it takes it's one of those mathematical things it takes a yeah. while like it's yeah. it doesn't matter i got i saw i got a kill first before i died so it's going to be a good year and that's the way it works i did not see my shadow this is your version of the groundhog day thing it is it's exactly what it is your puxatani sims i just need a half <laughs> <laughs> that's funny so, anyways whatever it's out it it's out i haven't seen it yet yeah it's i feel like i'm okay it's call of duty it looks like all the other yeah. call of duties it's not built on the same engine so it feels like all the other call of duty like it's so just... i haven't had time to look at anything really today but i did see a headline that said something to the tune of microsoft expected to or predicted to or something Two to four million Game Pass subscriptions. Yeah, those were just analysts pulling stuff out of their butt. <laughs> yeah, but I, but <laughs> I was doing the math in my head, which is not a good idea. But that's it. Doesn't seem like a lot to me, you know. I mean, if you think about, I don't know where they're at with subscriptions because <laughs> they'd have to tell us that, but. I seem to recall. I mean, they used to throw in numbers like back back when Xbox Live was a thing. We were in the I don't remember anymore forty to sixty million something like that. And then Game Pass is obviously well, actually these days it isn't smaller because it is game. What do you call it? Xbox Live. But I mean, they got to be somewhere in those you know the tens of millions, right? Mid mid tens of millions. So what is that? Like two to four? Is that like one to two percent? Am I doing the math on this right? Yeah, I don't know what the actual sell through no, is. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's more like ten. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ten to twenty percent. See, this is me doing math in my head. Shouldn't even be looking at me right now. That's embarrassing. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um But is that good? I don't know. I don't I don't know. This is the you know, in I don't know. We don't. I, this is the type of thing I'm looking forward to. Future earnings statements where they yep. do or do not say anything about this. I mean, they're gonna have to say something. Obviously, they're gonna talk about you know in this quarter we launched you know whatever biggest title of the year something something. But does it impact? Is there earnings next week? They're not gonna talk. No, it's too early for next week. But uh, yeah, so it should be. Yeah, it's gonna have to be very soon. I think apples are the last week of. Apple's might even be November 1. It's somewhere in there. So, yes, Microsoft will be sometime next week, I would imagine. Uh, October 30th. So, yeah, five days. Yeah, there you go. Win Wednesday. What's that, like Friday? When is that? No, next. Next Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Good. Perfect timing for me. Uh, earnings on a Windows Weekly day. Brutal. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, it will, it will be after the show because of the time change. Yeah. Well, hmm. there's that. Uh, Sachi Nadella got paid about $75 million. So that's good for him, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. You got to keep that robot oiled. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I, 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 what, what is, <laughs> I, know, I know. What does that even. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, no, I, 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 this is a family show. We'll just leave it. There you go. 
I mean, is it a family show? I don't even know. I mean, if you sit down and listen to this podcast with your family. Yeah, you've got bigger problems. Mm -hmm. Like blink twice uh, if you're in trouble. Yeah, the parents who were blaming like video games back in the day or rock music for their their kids, you know, their teenagers' horrible Mm -hmm. problems. I'm just going to suggest this was a pre-existing condition (laughs) and that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's whatever. He did Next take week, a, he did seventy nine point one million, which was an increase of uh, over thirty million from last year's forty eight point five million. I is hope this performance that based is, is that where that comes from? It must it? be right. Yeah, it must be Microsoft for earnings or not earnings, but they earnings filed their annual value. Statement. Is it uh, stock price related? Like, what's the metric most of here? it's stock? Two point five million salary, and then the rest is all shares. Yeah. Okay. Look, I mean, Microsoft is what the second biggest company in the world still. Something somewhere in there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess he should be making something. He's doing something right. It seems like they're. This is a company, you know, that that had has never not been humongous in our you know adult lifetimes or whatever, but is been very quietly rich over the past ten, fifteen mm-hmm. years, whatever it's been while other companies are stealing the spotlight from sort of a PR slash marketing perspective, you know, so they're, they're not quite an IBM. That's not that bad, but I think the fascinating thing about them is that they've Microsoft or Sachin Nadella, however you want to say it, has put themselves back in the spotlight in recent years, right? Through mm-hmm. the AI stuff. So they've become kind of a, I don't know. They're kind of, you know, everyone knows the name obviously, but I mean, I feel like they're kind of back in the news, which, you know, for a long time, that wasn't the case. It was very quiet. Yeah. I don't know if that matters or not. I don't know. The Windows is going great, huh? <laughs> yeah, doing, doing a lot of stuff. I don't know. It's yeah. Friday, right? <clears throat> well, yep. Yeah. Next week we have a week of Mac announcements, apparently. Although yeah, I think that's coming honestly, starting Monday. In some ways, the iOS thing it might be the biggest thing of the week. It's kind of a weird thing to say, like a point one release, but. Yeah, I mean, they're going to go, I think, what, M4s and their stuff and some RAM and whatever. Yeah, so Mac Minis, MacBook Pros. I guess the, well, the Mac Air okay, obviously was always going to wait till the spring or whatever, but the Mac Studio, I think, has been delayed. But what else is... Yeah, the only thing that, that interests me, and I, don't, I doubt I'll do this unless I get work to pay for it, is to buy a Mac Mini and then just run Windows on ARM as my primary OS. Wow. 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 I would like to see a Mac Mini. I mean, it's not like I can go buy a... I would like to see a legit retail Mac Mini for Windows, right? Like a... Yeah, well, HP could do this. This Yeah, anyone could. I mean, they all... I guess at some point, someone will. There are a lot of small form factor PCs out there, but... We should do this. We should start the first ring daily box. And And then we'll uh, we'll go to Qualcomm and say, hey, we could sell this to developers. Because I think we have as many resources and probably as many smarts as the people who did that one. Well, what we could do is just go to Costco and get some like metal lunch pails <laughs> and put some cotton balls in the bottom, like throw an Arduino in there, and then just yeah, just get some uh, some binned motherboards from some third rate PC maker, stuff them in a box. <laughs> it's be like a Raspberry Pi, but with a laptop motherboard with a Qualcomm chip that might be illegally sourced based on what happens in the next fifty eight days. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, right? It's the perfect timing for this business plan. <laughs> Just flying out to California, some guy in a trench coat. He's like, I've got the oh, chips. Man. And then like we yep. just... Just in a trench coat, you like, you get the chips. Yep. I think this has the makings of um, success. I do too. I don't know. I don't know where we could go wrong. <laughs> you can't point to at least 15 places right now. I don't know. Have a good week. One of our better podcasts. <laughs>